Even there, you bald forehead, you thinking you tough. Saying all kind of shit like, oh, well, you come see me. Well, sign up. Let's go to Seattle and you sign up. Well, Seattle, you ain't got to sign no way. Meet me in Seattle where you can have mutual combat and talk like that. I slap a tooth. It'll look like you got a toupee on the front of your head or how hard I slap the back of your head, motherfucker. The hell you talking about? Y'all got. Ah. <sighs> But shit, as we see, man, Kwame Brown being back on his uh, revenge kind of, we're going to call that revenge tour. And he's been going at guys pretty hard, you feel me? Uh, this all started when Gilbert Arenas was on the uh, All the Smoke podcast with Gilbert Arenas, I mean with uh, Matt Barnes and Steven Jackson, you feel me? I feel like Gilbert Arenas was just, you know, he was just talking regular. But you could see that Steven Jackson and Matt Barnes had some jokes about Kwame Brown, you know, regarding his basketball career. And I mean, this been like a thing for a long time. It's been a joke. You know how he was a first pick overall in 2001. You know, when Kobe scored 82, they combined for like 83 or 84 or something like People always been making jokes about it and how it was like, like he was a big bus and hey finally man it's been a long time, you know, it's been a lot of years, but finally Kwame Brown, he seems like he's tired of it and he decided to respond to this guys. And first of all, like I was a Laker fan. I'm not I was. I am a Laker fan, but when he played, you know, I was a Laker fan. So I watched Kwame Brown play for the Lakers and play throughout the league. Of course, people talk about, you know, the expectations of the number one pick and all that. But I always said, man, that wasn't his fault. That's the organization fault. You feel me? They want to blame him for not being live up to a number one pick. But, hey, the team should have done their homework. You know, you guys picked the 18-year-old fresh out of high school. Hey, it is what it is, you know. But, hey, he ended up having a long career, you know. And you got to salute Jalen Rose for that because even when Jalen Rose was having a discussion with Skip, ba- with Skip Bayless and Stephen A. Smith, he was like, yo, you guys can't call this guy a bust. He played in the league for like 12 years. And I think that's the difference to me. Like, And I get it to where a lot of people want to say that uh, any play in the NBA is not a bust. Nah, that is kind of relative. You know, like... If an investment a team made on you doesn't pan out, like somebody lost. I know we could say, okay, it's whatever for the team that lost, but somebody lost. So, yeah, that could be a bust. But I think a bust maybe is when like a player is drafted number one and they don't even make the league, though. You know what I mean? Like they're out the league. See, Kwame Brown, he played for a long time. You know what I mean? Like... I mean, Matt Barnes was up there talking about him, but, yo, their points average, their career numbers are not that much different. Like, it's not like you killed way more than him in the NBA. So, But I get it. He was a, he, he was a number one pick, but also he was a number one pick out of high school. Like, you got to factor that in. So that was in his fault. You know what I mean? Like, let's say if you like, got picked second round somewhere, nobody will be making those jokes that they be making now. You know what I mean? But, hey, so let's let's first talk about it. So, you know, he's basically saying these guys, they got a big platform, but they want to spend their time, you know, tearing down a, another black man. And I never heard, like, Kwame Brown speak before. I, like, yo, and I watched, I mean, I've been watching NBA for a long time, my whole life, basically. I don't know. I don't remember even hearing... Well, I get it, like, because I've heard him in interviews, but man, that boy country is here. Like, when he talk on on his on his own lives and on his uh, YouTube channel, I'm like, damn, I didn't know he was this country. But, hey, he's out there saying what he got to say. I mean, and I see he got a platform, you know what I mean? And some of the things he talk about on his platform I disagree with, but on this one, when it comes to him defending himself, I'm with him. And he's saying some real shit, like, Steven Jackson, bro, 
and you carry this tough tough guy persona uh you want to be a activist or a gang banger like he, he told him pull your pants up and take that rat put that rag away because you know steven jackson supposed to be blood or pyro but he's like fam you too old for this you know like y'all gotta start saying good examples so that message i'm with that you know what i mean like even i see jamel hill kind of stray which i mean i can i can't blame her you know he seemed like Kwame brown he's not like in, he being a social media hype like he he might not be aware what the fr uh phrase you chose violence means it doesn't mean literally chose violence. It's just a term. Like when you clap back at somebody, people say, Oh man, you chose violence today. Like you woke up and chose violence. It doesn't mean that you you actually like chose violence in the literal form. So I think Kwame Brown took that wrong and kinda clapped back, but you know, Jamel Hill be saying some shit that I definitely don't agree with, so I don't even mind uh Kwame Brown clapping back at at her. But, hey, man, Kwame Brown, he, you know, his YouTube channel is growing. You know, it's not like, he's not one of them guys who needs the money, bro. He made a lot of money in the NBA, you know, and I'm sure he still got plenty of it. So, but, hey, it's good to see. He he he, he thinks about the right shit. Like, when he talks about, you know, family and people trying to tear the black man down, like, hey, he's he's talking some real shit, so... It's good to see somebody like that actually build a platform. Like, you know, it's cool to go on Instagram live all the time. But, hey, get on YouTube, man. Like, build that following. I see he's, he's gaining subscribers a lot by the day, man. Those numbers are going up. And that's just, that shows you the power today, man. You know, you could take matter into your own hands. The people out there talking about you, especially, like, the ESPNs, the you know, Fox Sports, like, yo, you could have your own platform where you tell your own truth. It's unfiltered, no time limit. You know, just go in. Like, Kwame Brown is showing people, like, because for years, man, I, every, like, nobody, I wasn't even thinking about Kwame Brown at all. But till, you know, this guy started talking about him again, like, yo, y'all got to let that go. So now he pop up, he defending himself. Some people saying he cloud chasing. And it's like, no, bro. They've been going at him for too long. You know, he's always been the joke. You know what I'm saying? So now that he's out there defending himself, people want to say he's crazy, he's cloud chasing. Like, nah, man. There's just a man who f he was like, man, y'all got a big platform, but y'all using it wrong. And that's the thing about him. Like, he's so you know, critical about how the media just manipulates things. You know what I mean? And that's what Jalen Rose was saying. Like, yo, he's getting paid millions to play basketball. That means he's doing something right. You feel me? Like, he's in that, yo, you have a 10-year professional career, bro. You did something right. So, I mean, shout out to Kwame Brown. Hopefully his YouTube keep growing and all that. He, And, I mean, some of this shit... Yeah, and he might have to turn, like, you know, he, his language might have to change a little bit because I don't know how the monetization work. But like I said, it's not like he needs that. But it's just it's just to see guys build their own platform because that's his. Like, nobody owns that. That's just him. He gets on there and pops his, you know, talks his stuff. So that's dope to see, man. But, hey, I like this little clapbacks he been doing. Now people want to box. But he's like, nah, I'm not with that. I just wanted to clear my name. And, you know, I support that. But, yeah, man, uh, y'all let me know how y'all feel about this situation. You uh, you think it's fair? You think uh, it's cloud chasing? You think uh, he's doing the right thing? But, hey, I think he was the right thing to do, man. He's kind of putting his people, you know, like cut all that other tough shit y'all be talking about. Like, y'all should be, man, saying good examples for people. So, I'm with that. You know, but yeah, y'all let me know how y'all feel. Leave a comment below, man. If you're new here, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and y'all stay tuned, man. It's your boy K Dub, and I'm going to holla at y'all. Peace.